started out really like a bad movie. And uh, the man who set up the meeting for me to work on a community development project for some fishermen betrayed me to the guerrillas, and I was kidnapped and ended up being held hostage for almost five months. As I was tied to this tree, asking the Lord why he had allowed me to be kidnapped and why he hadn't kept me safe, um, the Lord reminded me that I had been praying for at least the last six months every evening before I went to bed, asking the Lord to send the gospel to the communist guerrillas. And so it was like the Lord said to me, oh, how come you're so upset since I sent you out here with the gospel? I had saved the life of an old lady that was dying beside an airfield and I had turned around and flew her back to the hospital. And it turned out she was the mother of one of the key guerrilla leaders. And he stood up and defended my life when they were trying to kill me. And, uh, and so then their main leader, the one in charge of the whole guerrilla movement, came out and made a ceremony of freeing me and uh, told me that I was free to remain in the area with my brother, that we could live among them. What causes us to come back is to see the results when God changes someone's life. When one of these men that have been fighting for really a, a lost cause, a wrong cause, they want to redeem society by destroying the society that we have and making a new society, but it will never work as long as there's corruption in the human heart. The real uh, battle is in the spiritual realm and it's for the hearts and souls of all of these people. And God wants to clean us up from the inside out.